So it's time for my fashion video for the month, my fashion tip video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking some basic outfits, one all in white, one all in black. And I'm going to show you how you can add tops and scarves and jewelry and give whole different looks. You can go from casual to dressy for any type of occasion you're going to have in this upcoming spring and summer season. I can't wait to show you. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm over 70. I always say, if I can do it, you can do it too. I know you can. I want to thank my subscribers. I appreciate all of you watching my videos and commenting and just being so encouraging. It means the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't want to miss any of these decor, fashion, crafting videos I have for spring and summer. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. So I'm kind of trying out different things. And please comment and let me know kind of what is your favorite or what you like. But I thought this month we would take a black outfit and a white outfit and I'm gonna have it up on a hanger and I'm gonna be showing you adding things to it. I'm not gonna actually be wearing them, but I thought it's kind of cool so you can see, oh, it looks different now, it looks different now, I've added this and this. Just for ideas that you can then go into your closet and see if you can pull together some of these ideas, these kind of loose concepts, because I think a lot of us get so stuck. Okay, I have my black top, my black bottom. I have my white top, my white bottom. What do I do to make it look special, more casual, more put together? That's what this is all about. About. And again, these are just my ideas and things I like to wear. Um, it might be a little too much for you or not enough for you. And again, kind of, you know, you know your style, make it work for you. But I hopefully will we'll give you some ideas and I can't link any clothes or jewelry because all this stuff has been bought probably at least 10 to 12, 13 years ago. But anyway, without further ado, here's my two outfits. In many ways, you can accessorize them for spring and summer. All right, I hope you love it. I hope you get inspired and go take a look in your closet and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye. All right, we have our first outfit here. Now I wanna say, if you don't like this flowy look that I have um, and you prefer something with sleeves, that's fine, but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna hide your arms in this outfit. So simple, beautiful white top, it could be a linen shirt, it could be whatever top you like. And then I just stuck my white jeans down here. Now these could be crop pants, long flowy skirt, palazzo pants, whatever you want. And I wanna show you the very simplest way to accessorize this outfit. I use gold. So I brought out my gold and tan sandals. And now we're going to put a really pretty necklace on and there we go, there's a beautiful necklace. Let's add a beautiful cuff. And we have a really, really pretty outfit. Here's another one I have that's gold. So any long drop necklace, especially if you're in a flowy outfit, I really like to see kind of a long drape. So this is beautiful. Now let's take a look if you just wanna cover this up a bit and add a touch of pink. All right, now what I did here is I just added a beautiful kimono. And by the way, my video next month on fashion tips is all about my kimonos and how to wear them. This is so pretty. I got this at Ross Dress for Less. It has all this fringe. It's a very bohemian look. And then I added some of my little pink tassels. It's not coming across. It's actually the exact same color as this just to give it a little boho look. And I'm still gonna match it with a beautiful cuff that's got browns and golds in it, which kind of picks up the necklace and the gold shoes. Now let's take this look more nautical. Okay, now I have this beautiful flowy sheer navy top that I put over the white t-shirt and the jeans, and you can see how beautiful that looks. Now, I love navy with brown, and I wanted to make this more rustic looking, so I added some wood beads that I had, and I paired it with this little cuff. Now, this time I wanted to bring out browns a little bit more, so I brought in my sandals that have all kinds of fringe on the front. And that makes an adorable outfit, going to brunch, going to the beach, whatever. 
But I wanna take it one step further because it can get cold sometimes. Let's add a scarf. Now you can see how adorable this looks. I found this scarf at Ross Dress for Less. Um, and you can see how well it goes with the top here. Now, especially if you're going to the beach, it could get a little chilly, but I like the look of, again, keeping those necklaces on underneath. So if the scarf gets too hot and you wanna take it off or wrap it around your head or something, you still have some accessories. All right, let's go pastel now. All right, now here's one of my beautiful pastel drapey tops. Again, it's got these you know, I, I guess you would call this a flowy poncho. That would be the correct term. But I just love all these pastel colors, the pinks, the blues. Now, I just added this necklace. I love flowy with long necklaces. It just elongates everything. But see how pretty that is? That picks up all the colors. And again, white jeans. And I just took some of my... um little stretchy bracelets that had the same blue and kind of peachy pinky color in them and I got these adorable sandals at Target years ago and look how adorable those are to wear and again I'm showing you mainly fashions for spring and summer now let's take this look and make it maybe a little bit more elevated perfect for brunch or a night out all right, now what I added is I added this really pretty apricot color, little short sleeve, lightweight sweater. You know, so many times when you go out to dinner or you go to brunch and it's freezing in the restaurant, well, this looks beautiful with all white. Now, what I did for the necklaces is I doubled them. You guys, I don't know if you remember Charming Charlie's. Oh, I used to love that accessory store. Anyway, I've used a turquoise kind of tiered necklace and a peach, the same color as the sweater, tiered necklace that has all uh, starfish, pearls, shells. So beautiful, so reminiscent for um, the beach and summertime. And I paired it with the same little bracelets, the same little stretchy bracelets. Now this would look adorable with gold because you've got gold in the necklace. Or you could actually bring back this sandal here. So I hope you enjoyed this white outfit and how I accessorized it in four different ways. But let's take a look now at a black outfit and what we can do for spring and summer. Okay, now we're on to the black outfit. Now I've chosen again a sleeveless flowy top. Now this one has open work, some crochet at the bottom. Um, I like it because it kind of shows if you have a top on over it. And I just put some um, leggings there, some black leggings. So if you want to keep it very, very simple, again, gold jewelry. You cannot go wrong with a cuff and necklace or cuff and earrings in gold. And then, of course, you can pair it with your um, gold shoe. All right, let's put the pink one on and see what it looks like. So here I put that lace, pale pink, blushy, um little kimono over the black and it looks stunning again with the kind of boho looking little tassel pink necklace and again all the fringe and then i included this same little cuff that kind of picks up the browns and um, all in the necklace and then my gold shoes all right here's my next look now i just took one of these again flowy ponchos i i guess i own a lot of them <laughs> more than i thought but how pretty for fourth of july if you still want to wear your black top and pants, you can throw a red, white, and blue ethnic print over it. Now you can see too, I've included um, two necklaces. I like to double up necklaces. And that is great to have on. It's got turquoise and red. It picks up all the colors in there. And I would pair this with a very uh, bohemian looking, ethnic looking sandal like this. Okay, this is my next outfit. Now, this is one of those kimonos. I have a lot of kimonos and a lot of ponchos. <laughs> but I love this print. It's so ethnic looking. It looks like you got it in Morocco. And I paired it with two necklaces. Now this is actually one necklace here. But this was in the same group of necklaces. Now here's a couple ideas for cuffs. Now I'm gonna pull out either plain black sandals 
white sandals or I love these little sandals with some jewels on them. I think they look so great. All right, this is my last black outfit. So again, going out to dinner, going out to brunch, this is a very sheer, sheer top. You can just see through it here. It's a little jacket, it's all edged in black, and I think looks fabulous with an all black outfit. So I have two necklaces on. This is a necklace right here, the three-tiered one, and then I pair it with my long necklace. It gives uh, quite a dramatic look. Again, I would um, put it with my cuff, my silver cuff, and my silver um, and black sandals. All right, I hope you love this. I hope you got lots of ideas for taking a plain white outfit and a plain black outfit and accessorizing them in a whole bunch of different ways. Hope you loved it, hope you got inspired, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.